Red Bull RB18 was a Formula 1 car designed by Adrian Newey for the 2022 season, with today's version being the first out of two wins for Sergio Perez being at the Monaco Grand Prix. Now the Monaco Grand Prix, for Monaco standards, was an exciting one. With the start being delayed for 65 minutes, we finally got underway with a rolling start. Fast forward a bit and Ferrari managed to misjudge their pit strategy and Perez took the lead, finishing first after just 64 laps because the time limit was reached. Also to note, Perez allegedly crashed his RB18 on purpose at the end of Q3 to secure a place in front of Verstappen. On purpose or not, Max was still displeased by the crash during the Brazilian GP, causing him to neglect team orders to let Team Perez by for P6. And today, we have that RB18 in 118 scale. Before we begin today's video, I first want to introduce you to our sponsor, Raceland.de. If you're looking to get this Red Bull RB18 driven by Sergio Perez, make sure you check out the direct link to this car in the description down below to the Raceland website. I just got this model car along with some other cool 2022 Formula 1 cars from various teams in stock, so be quick before they sell out. So next to Formula 1, they also have different categories of model cars, being the 24 Hours of Le Mans, 24 Hours Nürburgring, 24 Hours Spa and GT, Touring Cars, Rally WRC, and Super Formula, to name a few. So if you're looking to get yourself this model car or a different one, I can highly suggest you do that at raceland.de. All links are in the description down below, and make sure to check them out after this video. Welcome everybody, today we are going to review Sergio Perez's RB18 from the Red Bull team of the year 2022. What's interesting about this version is this has the full wet tire on, which I don't see a lot with Formula 1 180 scale monocars. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the box, shall we? So the box comes with this cellophane, um, which we have to pry open manually because it didn't brought any tools. So right here we have the by now well-known spark boxes. At the front of the box, we have a nice little window here, uh, which you can see through, which is replicated on Let's see. Hey, I think they changed it. Wait, let me check. I am also here for review. <coughs> yeah, they changed the box, look at that. So we have one window in this box, but this box has two, look at that. We have a window here and here as well. And these are the boxes I'm used to. A spark emblem on top as well. And on the other side, we have a spark logo dead center too. And on the side, we have a sticker which reads Oracle Red Bull Racing RB18 number 11 winner Monaco GP of 2022. Almost. There's one thing I noticed now for the first time. The front wing is all carbon fiber. I thought this was blue of Red Bull too, but no, it's full on carbon fiber. On the left hand side, we have the sponsor Bybit, which is replicated on both sides. And on the left side, we have the word red. And on the right side, we have the name Bull, which makes obviously Red Bull. And on the outside, it is that navy blue color, which uh, has a sponsor as well, which is Mobile. All the way at the front of the nose with this very tiny logo of Red Bull Racing. The rest of the cone is just as yellow. And on the side, we have two charging Red Bulls. Moving a little bit more upwards, we have a lot of logos, as obviously Red Bull is a very popular team. We have Mobile One. Infinitium, Pirelli 150 years, Arctic Wolf, Tezos, Citrix, and above that we have Cash App. Suspension looking rather interesting, has this carbon fiber texture on it too, looking really nice. So the wheel brow, which is basically the flap above the wheel, now has a sponsor of Hard Rock, which is also different from the previous RB18. Then we get to the tires, and look at those tires, man. I really, really like those. And uh, this one is the full wet tire, which obviously has this thread on the tire, and the outside makes it the blue. Pirelli stencil, which basically stands for, oh fuck, here we go again, Cinturato, Cinturato. Wheel covers are the generic black ones. At the front of the driver's cell, we have race number 11. And I think having race number one and 11, those, that combo is very, very cool aesthetically as well. Moving upwards, we have a couple of sensors and a 360 camera as well. And above that, we have the sponsor of Tech Hire as well. Moving to the side of the driver's cell, we have one more logo of Bybit. And underneath the interest of the side pod, we have Tezos once again. Then we finally get to Mr. Perez himself, at least in 118 skill, had the special little gray helmet which he wore for the Monaco Grand Prix which I believe was for his Mexican teammate. Four wins and 25 podiums and counting. Gracias Pedro. Um, I have to say in all honesty I don't know who Mr. Pedro is. So the figure itself is looking really nice. Driver's suit is looking pretty good. Steering wheel looking nice. It's a bit slanted on this model. So this side of the design basically a lot of teams copied for the 2023 season 
because obviously it was a winning formula. So this was basically the first year which uh, basically replaced the Red Bull text on the side path with a direct sponsor. And I believe they did that with 2014 Infinitium as well with the purplish bluish car. Uh, Red Bull has moved to a different spot, which is basically underneath side of the engine cover. What is also different from Max's RB18, which we reviewed, are those little vents uh, right underneath the paw of the Red Bull. Uh, those are new for this uh, type of model, which is cool to see. It's cool to see that they don't just um, have the exact same uh, model. They really do it race specific. So if there are small bends or cutouts, they also have that on the model later in the season, which is a really nice attention to detail. On the engine cover, we have obviously this big charging Red Bull and at the shark fin, we have number 11 with underneath there uh, HRC, which stands for Honda Racing. What's also really nice to see is the, those different panel lines and the bodywork too. Then we get to the rear wing of this car, which has this huge sponsor of Bybit. Uh, unfortunately, no slots between the flaps. Um, I don't know why they do that with some 22 model cars and with some they don't. Yeah, pretty significant scoop we have going on there. Looking nice. Outside of the wing end plate, we have Mobile One and Tiso's once again. On the back of the DRS flap, we have Oracle, which is basically what the other team saw during the whole season. What is nice to see are those LED lights on the edge of the wing end plates. Uh, and we also see that rear light too with above that a nice little exhaust, which runs pretty deeply in there. Look at that. And can I mention that mass color on this Red Bull is looking so incredibly nice. When you look at it, it's, you know, like almost this grayish blue. But when you really put your eye on there, you see those blue speckles in there too. It's almost a matte metallic blue, if that makes sense. But let's take a close look at this base plate, shall we? Sometimes I get the question, uh, can you unscrew those cars? Yes, you can by removing those screws at the bottom. Anyway, we also have text on there too, which reads Oracle Red Bull Racing RB18 winner Monaco GP of 2022. And his name is not John Cena, but Sergio Perez. There is the RB18, at least of Perez, because here we have the RB18 of Max Verstappen. Let's see if I can find some significant changes between the models. Oh wow, I see a big change for the Jetta Grand Prix. So this is basically Max's Jetta RB18. It has a full on carbon fiber rear wing. And Sergio Perez, which is the Monaco GP, which is like the fifth or sixth race of the season. Uh, he has this navy bluish uh, rear wing. But other than that, uh, very minor changes between the models because obviously, I mean, between Jetta and Monaco, it's like four or five races apart. So obviously they don't bring big packages mid season. Um, for now, let's put Max Max to the side because he gets enough uh, attention already. This is the RB18 driven by Sergio Perez of the 2022 season. So yeah, it's really nice to see that Red Bull with the blue tires. You don't see too much 1 to 18 scale with um, uh, full wet tires. Plus you have that special helmet of Sergio Perez. So there's all the more reasons to get this car. If you are interested in this RB18, once again, make sure you do that at raceland.de. Links will be down in the description for you to click on. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I sincerely hope you liked it once again. Maybe consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel would help out a ton. Uh, next one coming out will probably be the Haas VF22 car, which is a really interesting car made by the Mini Champs brand, which I don't review very often. So stay tuned for that. I hope to see you in the next video as well.